All right, YouTubers, today we have our first look at Unsanctioned, an unruly head-to-head -head fight club. So this officially debuts February 29th. We're going to take a look to see what's inside this puppy. So that way you guys can look at it in live action, a live action opening, and not just all digital, and see what these cards look like as we open them up. So this is the back of the box. Not your typical um, booster packs, but what it looks like is one of those game game night boxes. Because it comes with two six-sided dice, five 30-card decks with 16 new cards, 10 very cool tokens, very cool, and the description is, get ready for the fight, welcome to the best unauthorized fight club in the multiverse, Bash B beaks with five 30 card decks made up of classic silver border sets and 16 new cards the rules are unhinged and the stadium is unstable and the things are about to become unglued okay and of course the the thing i'm excited for the most 10 ridiculously gorgeous full art lands five in premium foil so we're going to take a look at those cards so let's go ahead and get this open and see what's inside. Here we go, guys, as I struggle, as always. All right, so we got our five decks all sealed. Our land cards, it looks like, and maybe the 16 new packs. In here we have the description, the die, which are kind of plain to me. There you go, there's a two die. The description card, so let's take for description in, uh, insert, I guess you could say. Bach, welcome newcomer. Look at that, it's a big old rooster. I'll show you how things work around here. Trust me, you don't want to ruffle too many feathers. So first, to fight in this ring, you'll need a team. Choose any two of the 30 card decks and shuffle them together into a two colored super deck. All right, look at that. Number two, your opponent does the same. And number three, set the unused deck aside. So technically you would play with four, put one aside, and the lands are here. And the tokens, I guess those are the lands and the tokens. So we'll leave that to the end. We'll take a look at the first pack here. So there is your rare of the pack. Let's see if there's a, oh, there is a little seal there, which you can open up. So let's see if that works. Twelve seconds later. So oh, there you go. There, there's that tab. All right. I'm just uh, I'm just a dummy. All right. Let's set this to the side so we can see what these cards look like one by one. So flavor judge, bird advisor. <laughs> Choose target spell ability that targets the permanent control. Then ask a person outside the game the story of that. Of what will happen makes sense. If they say no, sacrifice flavor judge and counter that spell or ability. And that is the new unsanctioned symbol there. Looks like a sh horseshoe with two wrenches and an egg. So again, really revolves around this chicken theme. Unsanctioned, right? Chicken rooster. Here we have another rare Frankie Peanuts. It looks like a gangster there, right? For Elephant Rogue, at the beginning of your upkeep... You may ask target player a yes or no question. If you do, the, that player answers the question truthfully and bides by the answer if able until end of turn. Alrighty. <laughs> and this is the uh, white deck. Oh, look at that. This is a card that's like the R&D card in the Mystery Booster packs provided in the convention packs only. So look at me, I'm R&D enchantment. Look at me, I'm R&D. Enters the... What is that? BF? Battlefield? Choose a number. Comes into play. Choose a number and a second number. One higher one. Lower than the first number. All instances of the first chosen number. Permanent spells. Some spell. Some corrections there. Grammar corrections. Change to in the full text of each. Okay. So what is... That's not even a rare. But that's just an R&D card. There's your other rare. Look at that. It's another one. Look at me, I'm the DCI. Banning card, other than a basic land card for the rest of the match. It's playing darts, drinking. There you go. 
tomorrow. Look at me on the DCI. Staying power until I turn this turn effects don't end. Oh, there is your mythic there. Sword of Dungeons and Dragons. A quick creature gets 2 plus 2 and has protection from rogues and from clerics. That's pretty cool. Circadian Night Owl. Night Lifelink. This is a both white and black where you can use for its abilities. And here comes your commons. And I believe these are the cards that are available. Um, oh, there you go. You have lands in the back and are available in um, unstable and unglued. I'm, these, some of these cards look familiar. So I believe these are um, reprints. Shredding Turkey, which is your uncommon. Underdome. It's a land. And your planes cards. So there's lands provided. I was kind of questioning, how are you going to play with 10 lands? But they do come with lands in each pack. So there we go with that. I really do like the playtest card that they do provide. And one mythic out of white. So that's a preview of the white. So now we're going to blue. Alexander Clamilton. Go play on words there. There we go. Much better the second time around, guys. Hopefully I've learned from my mistakes. Alexander Clambleton, blue, legendary creature, clam folk, advisor, rebel. Whenever you cast a wordy spell, scry two. Seems like all these spells are pretty wordy to me, so you can counter any spell ever. Avatar of me. <laughs> okay. The spell casts one more to cast for each 10 years you've been alive. One more to cast, not even one less, okay. Avatar's means power is equal to your height and feet and toughness and equal to your American shoe size. Round to the nearest half. Avatar me is the color of your eyes. <laughs> All right. And so, okay, I guess it would be black, huh? All right. Makes sense. There is the mythic Bob Bevy of Beebles. Look at that. Legendary Planeswalker. So you actually get a Planeswalker out of this set. As Bob Bevy of Beebles enters the battlefield, create four 1-1 one, one blue Beeble creature tokens. The number of loyalty counters on Bob is equal to the number of Beebles you control. Chicken a la King. There you go. Johnny Combo Player. Search your library for a card. Put that card in your hand and then shuffle your library. Oh, there you go. Richard Garfield. And these are the reprints. I, I know that for sure is in a reprint. So not only is... Are the rares, some of the rares reprinted. I mean, the commons and uncommons, the rares are also. So I know I've seen that in uh, another unset also. Water gun, balloon, game. Here's some of the other uncommons and commons. So commons, merman, rings the bell, rock lobster, timeout. We got an upside down card. Was that on purpose? Oh, it is on purpose. Topsy turvy. Okay. Because... Not upside down that way. There you go. All right. Playing mind games on me. Underdome and the islands. Look at that. What is it? There's a shape there, guys. What is that? Can you guys tell me? What is that shape of? It looks like... What? Is, tell me in the comments, guys. Do you see a picture there? Do you see something there? Tell me if you see something. And, of course, they're all the same. So... There it is for the blue. Let's move on to the black, my favorite color. And here we go. All right, first card, or a Cornelia fashionable filter. Squirrel, this is a black evil squirrel. Look at that. Hiding his golden nuggets, acorns. Enter the dungeon, sorcery. Players play a magic sub game under the table. <laughs> Starting at, oh man, that's just out of control. Internal spawn of evil. Not a demon, but a beast. It's a rat having hot cocoa. Okay. Oh, what, eternal spawn of eternal spawn of <laughs> evil. Look at that. That's pretty cool. This is a nine casting cost. This is a ten casting cost. Okay. <laughs> Infernius. Spawnington the third, eleven casting cost. Look at that. It's a rat. You could create a rat deck there, huh? 
out of those three cards in itself. That is pretty cool. Really funny. One, two, and three rats. Okay. Do we do the descriptions change? Beast? Demon child. Oh no. And we got Beast Demon Grandchild. Okay. Jack in the Mox. That's pretty cool. Bat Booster Tutor. Open and sealed magic booster pack. I I believe there's another YouTuber out there named Booster Tutor. Right? I'm pretty sure there is. Dirty rat. Duh. Let me hold these so you guys can actually see it. Inhumaniac. Jumbo Imp. Poultry Geist. Skull Saucer. Snickering Squirrel. Sting Scorpion. Underdome again. And the Swamps. Wonder if there's other hidden images. I like the blue one. I believe that blue island has a hidden image. Maybe that tree is something, but... Okay, that is your black deck. Two more decks to go, and the lands is what we really want to see, too. Let's take a look at that. But so far, really cool cards. I'm liking what I'm seeing. Retail, of course. They, they have these on retail. Ranging from between $40 to $50, almost the price of the Game Night set. Now we're on to red. Blast from the past. Look at that. You got a little symbol there, a tombstone. Other cards didn't have that, but that's different. And it's a kind of old school, almost an old school printing there, huh? Looks like. Boom Stacker. Here is your Mythic Infinity Elemental. Keeps on going there, huh? This creature has infinity power. It's so infinite that its flavor text says, it's so infinite that... <laughs> Look at that. It's so infinite that his text says. Sam McKinnon. All right. Drawn by Sam McKinnon. Pointy finger of doom. I thought, he was gonna, I thought he was raising a different finger there. Stet Draconic Proof Reader. Strategy Schmatogy. Looks like a Wheel of Fortune there, huh? Number one, do nothing. Destroy all artifacts. Destroy all lands. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yet another Aether Vortex. Abstract Iguana Art. Common Iguana. Goblin Hardasher. Goblin SWAT Team. Goblin Tutor. So they have... Do they have the tutor for every um, color? I didn't check. And here are your Uncommons and Commons. Your other Uncommons and Commons. Artifacts and your Mountain Card. So maybe no, maybe no secret image there. All right, last pack, which is green, of course. Looks like we're starting out with the game of bingo. And of course, I'm already struggling on the last pack. And like, I haven't learned my lesson. Bingo, B-I-N-G-O, trample. Look at those little flies. Whenever a player casts a spell, put a chip counter and just convert to mana. Bingo kids, nine plus plus nine plus nine for each set of three numbers in a row. Old fogey. So look at that. It's just the the print, the change print looks like oh, old school. Summon the dinosaur. Uh, old fogey dinosaur. Pippa, Duchess of Dice. Squirrel Farm. We have our mythic surgeon, general, slashed out, commander. That, I mean, whenever you have our augment, enchant, or mutate a creature in control, draw a card. Look at that. Today I feel like a shark, a gorilla, pig, tiger, frog, or <laughs> is that a uh, what are those called? I forget. Googly eyed freak um, marsupials. Timmy Power Gamer. There you go, Timmy's. There's all your Timmy's out there. You may put a creature card from your hand into the battlefield. What is this? I've never seen these four cards. Who, what, when, where, and why. All kinds of abilities there. Pretty cool. Bronze Calendar. Elvish Impersonator. That's pretty cool. Entirely Normal Armchair. Free Range Chicken. Girl Spurt. Half Squirrel. Mother Kangaroo. Slaying Mantis. Spirit of the Season. Wild Crocodile. Underdome again. And we have the cool Forest Land. All right, guys, 
those are all the colors. Pretty cool looking cards. Now we have our final pack, which is full of the new tokens and lands. So what we got here are the acorn stash. Place your acorn counters in this area. Token creature, giant teddy bear. Goblin and teddy bear. Goblin, teddy bear. We have a squirrel, which can also be found in, I believe, Modern Horizons also, yeah. Beeble, for your beebles, beebles. Evil, that's an evil squirrel, though. Beeble, beeble. Ooh, we got a dragon token, pretty cool. And another beeble, there's, because I know there's that one upside down beeble card. So these are the lands. Here are the foil ones, foil planes. And you only get one of each, which makes it pretty pricey if you're looking for these full art lands. So full art planes, full art island foil. That one's looking pretty awesome. Full art swamp. Pretty sweet there. Full art mountain. A lot of people say this looks like Swiss cheese. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. Full art forest. Play Zelda, maybe you guys know about that, and the non foil versions. So, pretty cool looking lands. These are gonna go to my land collection, of course. The other cards are really awesome. So, there is your sneak peek of Unsanctioned. So, take a look at it. It does release February 29th, leap year. Grab them at your local Walmart or your local L. GS, sorry, I was, I'm thinking about some other thing, LGS, um, or on your Amazon or Walmart.com. Thanks for checking that out, guys.